This is the female reproductive system. The eggs are produced in the ovaries by cell division that halves the number of chromosomes in the nucleus of each egg cell. So since the total number of chromosomes in a person is 46, each nucleus will have 23 chromosomes. This value will be back to 46 after the sperm has fused with the egg. This is the male reproductivity system. Sperm is produced by the testis, by the same sort of cell division used to make the egg cell. The testis is found in the scrotum that's located outside the body. This is because their temperature is lower than the body temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. The low temperature is ideal for sperm production. During sexual intercourse, large amounts of blood flows through the penis, which becomes erect, that is, bigger and harder. The erectile penis is then moved in and out of the woman's vagina. Sperm is released into the vagina with a special fluid from the seminal vesicles. The fluid and the sperm together are called semen. Semen provides nutrients for the sperm and allows it to swim to the egg. The release of semen is called ejaculation. Every month, an egg is released into an oviduct in a process called ovulation. If the sperm fertilizes the egg during this period, a zygote will form, which develops into an embryo and implants itself into the uterus lining. Here, the embryo develops a placenta, which allows it to exchange nutrients with the mother's blood. Once the embryo keeps growing and is recognizably human, it is called a fetus. Once a baby is born, you can identify whether it is a boy or a girl by its sex organs. The sex organs are the primary sexual characteristics. But humans aren't able to reproduce when they are young because they do not have the sexual maturity yet. During their teens, changes controlled by hormones take place, which lead to sexual maturity. This is called puberty. Puberty involves the maturity of the gametes and allowing the body to adapt to allow reproduction. In the boys, the hormone testosterone is secreted and in girls, the hormone oestrogen is secreted. Sexual secondary characteristics. During puberty in boys, sperm production starts, male sex organs are developed, hair is grown in many places, increase of body mass, voice breaks and the sexual drive develops. In girls, during puberty, the menstrual cycle begins, female sex organs develop, there is a growth of hair, increase in body mass, voice deepens, and the sexual drive develops, and breasts develop.